this is an exciting destinations uh, session. Uh, the first talk will be by Yuki Qian. The title of the talk, China's Chang'e 5 Landing Site and Overview. Hello, everyone. This is Yuki from China University of Geosciences, Sciences. And today I'm going to talk about the Chang'e 5 mission landing site. Uh, what is Chang'e 5 mission? Chang'e 5 mission is China's first lunar sample return mission. There are two methods uh, used by Chang'e 5 to sample lunar rallies. The first method is uh, using a drill to uh, sample the uh, subsurface uh, materials. Another method is using sampler A and a sampler B to sample the surface samples. And in total, uh, 1731 grams of lunar samples was taken by, back to the Earth by the Chang'e 5. Where is the Chang'e 5 mission landing site? The Chang'e 5 mission landing site is to uh, in the North Ocean of Pakularum to the west of Mare Imbrim and, and in the Northwest Lunar Near site, the Chang'e 5 landing site is within a Persilarum KIP terrain, which is a geochemical anomaly province with evaluated, evalu, evaluated heat produced elements are very thin crust. And because of this, uh, this uh, may be the reason why Chang'e 5 landing site developed some of the youngest lunar beer source elements, which I will describe la later. And if you take a look at this uh, web images and the NAC images, you will find that this place is a very ideal place to study lunar mechanism. Oh, most of this region was covered by uh, mare basalts, and there is a huge volcanic complex on the, uh, on the south boundary of the landing region. And there is some other silicon rich domes uh, in the east of the landing region. And there is a very, very long series of areas in the crossing the east of the landing region, which I will describe later as well. And if you uh, take a look at the uh, Harry, Harry Hinziger's Lunar uh, Mare Age Unit map, you will find that the Chang'e 5 landing unit here, it is one of the youngest lunar mare resources on the moon. And it, it makes a lot of meaning of the Chang'e 5 mission. And how is this young mare unit like? Based on composition data from WAC, from WAC and uh, uh, lunar perspective images, we found that this unit is a type of intermediate titanium mare resource. Uh, and the thorium and other incompatible elements uh, are, in, are evaluated of this young mare resource. And actually, we don't know very well how and why uh, thorium and other incompatible elements evaluated in mare resource. Up to this point, there are two hypotheses. One is inherent hypothesis, another is extraneous hypothesis. Uh, based on the work uh, of at all in JJR planet, they think that the thorium are endogenous to the mare resource here. But I think that is far from well known, and the Chang'e 5 samples will provide lots of information on this point. And uh, I also studied the spectra of over 5,500 small fresh craters in this region and using modified Gaussian model to model the red abundance of um, different minerals. And I found that clinoparoxene uh, is the most uh, dominant mineral in this region, followed by orthoparoxene and olivines. But if you have read some uh, spectroscopy work based on M cubed data, Many authors propose that uh, the uh, olivine should be very rich in the young mare unit, young mare units in ocean Polar, but I don't see many olivine of the Chang'e 5 landing site. And I think that the Chang'e 5 samples will provide uh, uh, many ground truths of uh, the spec of this kind of young high, high titanium mare resource. Do, are they uh, rich in olivine or not? Other things people care about are the chronology. The Chang'e 5 young mare unit are homogeneous in composition in general, but there are some small composition variations. What do these small composition variations mean? Are they from uh, impact mixing, geochemical evolution in one flows or separate flows? Uh, I want to know how. Uh, I, I want to know more information. So I did this great, great counting map of this young mare unit. And I found some uh, internal age variations within this unit. Actually, this unit has also been dated by many other other authors and we get ages from 1.2 giga year to 2.1 giga year. The good news is the results from all authors are uh, within the Eratosthenian approach and are younger than all upload samples, upload and lunar samples. And here is the results from other two authors. They also dated small areas within this unit and get different ages and, we, and also found age variations like me. So what can choose the age variations within this unit? Is this because of continuous eruption or local geology or the selection of critical county areas or the matter uncertainties? Or we, we really need to update the lunar culture function uh, in the young time frame or rethink about the critical county methods. I think the Chang'e 5 samples will provide us 
lots of precious information of this point as well. And what's the formation? Uh, a range of Yame resources in this region. There are no other observable uh, eruption sources in this region except Rima Sharp. It's very natural to, for us to, and the Rima Sharp is very close to the Chang Fire landing site. So it is very natural for us to uh, link these two things together and study their relationships. And here are some numbers of Rima Sharp and Rima Prince. Rima Sharp is much larger than Rima Prince, which was already modeled by Howe Zado, and they think that. Uh, the formation of uh, Rima Prince need lavas between uh, 50 to 200 cubic kilometers. And because the Rima Sharp is much, much larger than Rima Prince, it's very natural to extend and think that the formation of Rima Sharp is much more lava than this number. And this uh, lava should must be deposited somewhere in this unit. And uh, the uh, this unit has a volume between 1,000 to 2,000 cubic kilometers in volume. And uh, it's possible that this uh, Yami unit is just formed by the single eruption of Rima Sharp. And uh, what happens, and uh, we did a detailed work and prove, uh, and, uh, prove that maybe the this Yami unit is related to the eruption of uh, serious rays Rima Sharp here. And uh, here is how. We think that the previous thought Rima Sharp is actually composed of four serious rays, four first erupted uh, Rima Luvio and Rima Haplas followed by Rima Sharp followed by Rima Marine, and they meet somewhere here in the middle of this unit. And the materials from Rima uh, Sharp cover all this Yami unit, the materials from Rima Sharp cover the southeast corner of this unit. And except for, um, these are images of Chang Fai samples, you will see that the samples are very diverse, including glunates, breaches, basalts, and uh, glasses. To better understand the samples and maximize the sample, um, um, meanings, it better for us to know much better the um, sample severance. Based on the work of Shea et al, myself, Jai al, we have made some constant conclusions that the exotic ma materials here are very mi minor. Local materials dominate the regular compositions and uh, the exotic materials are mainly from distal epidic ejecta, meteorites and volcanic gases. And because the epidic ejecta are dominant exotic materials, I trace all of them in North Ocean as Pesilarum, and I found that uh, the jet are mainly from northeast uh, direction, mm -hmm. uh, northeast uh, southwest direction, and and uh, the overlaying the Changfa Yami unit and should be the dominant jet. And uh, the largest difference between my work and Shia's work is that they think northeast and southwest direction jet are from Shabi crater, but I think that they are from Hapalas craters. Direct dating Shabi crater on uh, uh, Hapalas crater were unreliable, unreliable age will re rival unreliable ages because uh, the morphology here is very complex. And I think that if you take the morphology here directly, you will find that Sharpie, sorry, Hapalas creator looks much younger than Sharpie creator. But if you date their continued ejecta, you will, the creator county will show you Sharpie creator is younger than Hapalas creator. So I think the creator county here will impede by different failures like uh, self cycle creators, partial barrier creators, uh, abnormal degradations, etc. But because of this uh, northeast and southwest I mean, direction, the jetta overlaying all this unit, and it should be very critical in the Chang Fire sample studies. So I propose that uh, in the future, people should be more have more cautions of credit counting on these two craters. And here is a list of my conclusions. It's one of the youngest mirror results on the mirror, and uh, maybe erupted from Rima Shaft and uh, exotic materials, maybe from Hapalas, Aristotle's Copernicus volcanic glasses on, from the south vents of Rima Sharp and Rima Marine. And uh, I propose two calibration points. One is from local marine resource. One is from Hapalas crater. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, over a minute left. Very good timing, Yuki, and great uh, talk. I don't see any questions from the uh, session members yet or participants, but I have one. What, what is the mass of the samples uh, that were returned both by the drill and separately by the samplers? Um, from the drill, um, the sample mass is like 250 grams. From the uh, surface device, surface scooping device, it is 1.5 um, kilograms. So most of the samples oh. are from the surface scooping device from sampler A and sampler B from the very surface of the landing site. Yep. And what are the largest fragments you brought back? A coherent fragments? Uh, maybe two millimeters, several millimeters, not very large, because mm -hmm. uh, it's a robotic uh, um, cannot sample like 
uh, centimeters uh, borders, but just a millimeter um, fragments. Yep. And can you comment on the abundance of agglutinates? Uh, were they similar to what we have at the other Apollo sites? Uh, I don't know this point yet because the sample analysis is ongoing and maybe needs some time to see the publication of the sample results. Uh, this year, I think the results will come out very soon. Okay, so we have uh, some good questions here. Um, uh, do you expect any fragments of highly silicic material in Chang E5 samples from Mahesh Anand? Um, um, I think this is possible that uh, there are some silicate or involved composition in the Chang samples because you see that this is a Chang 5 landing site. And here are some silicate, silica rich domes here. This is uh, marine domes, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, four marine domes, they are silica rich and very close to the landing site. And there are some small impacts on these domes, and the, the small dome, small impacts on these domes can definitely deliver some materials to distance ranges, maybe can sample by channel five. And uh, because, yeah. Okay, Yuki, so I apologize. We, we, we need to move on. 